Regulation of glucose metabolic pathway in brain tumor cells by JC virus. The aim of the research was to investigate the effect of glucose deprivation on JC virus T antigen expression. Expression of the JC virus early protein T antigen has transforming TVT in cell culture and in transgenic mm -hmm. wise. It results in the development of a broad range of tumors of neural crest and glial origin. T antigen associates with a range of tumor supp suppressor proteins including P53 and PRB and signaling molecules such as beta catenin and RS1, which plays a role in the oncogenic function of JC virus T antigen. T antigen expression is supp suppressed by glucose deprivation in medulloblastoma cell that endogenously express T antigen. On a functional level, T antigen down regulation is partially dependent on reactive oxygen species production during glucose deprivation and T antigen prevents RS production. Immunohistochemistry Brains were fixed in 4% buffer formalin, then were embedded in paraffin and sectioned at 4 micrometers for histological and, and immunohistochemical analysis. Sections were deparaffinized in xylene and were rehydrated through successive incubations in decreasing concentration of ethanol. Light microscopy was then performed on sections stained with hematoxylin and eosin. For immunohistochemical analysis, non-enzymatic antigen retrieval in citric buffer was then performed for all antibodies by heating the slides to 95 degrees Celsius in 0.01 molar citrate of PS6 for 30 minutes. The sections were then rinsed in water followed by PBS and incubated in methanol containing 6% hydrogen peroxide for 20 minutes to quench endogenous peroxidase. Mm -hmm. Sections were then blocked using 5% normal goat serum and then were incubated with appropriate primary antibodies overnight at room temperature in the humidified chamber. Immunohistochemistry was then performed using the evident body in peroxidase complex system. ROS Reactive oxygen species detection. Cells were plated in chamber slides in either control media or glucose deprivation. Washed, they were washed and then leveled with 25 micrometer carboxy H2 DCFDA for 30 minutes or at 37 degrees Celsius. In the presence of RS, the reduced carboxy DCFH is converted to carboxy DCF and fluoresces green. Cells were counter stained with hoist 33342 dye during the last 5 minutes of incubation. Cells were then mounted in warm, warm buffer and analyzed by fluorescent microscopy on a Nikon Eclipse TE300 microscope with Slidebook 5 software. RS levels were calculated by measuring the pixel intensity of in triplicate images using Adobe Photoshop CS software. This is the result we got from the immunohistochemistry. Since tumor cells utilize glucose at an increased rate, we investigated the um, effect of glucose deprivation on T antigen expression. Comparing the result from immunohistochemistry, we can see that the cells kept on control had more expressed T antigen protein, whereas cells that were glucose deprived had less or no protein expression. For these studies, we used the mouse medulloblastoma cells in line PSP8, which was isolated from medulloblastoma tumors, induced in transgenic mice expressing the ZC virus early region. Using uh, immunocyte, sorry, um, using immunohistochemistry for T antigen, we found that glucose deprivation significantly downregulated indigenous T antigen protein expression in the cells after 24-hour treatment. To examine the importance of T antigen expression and RS production during glucose deprivation, we use PSP8 cells as well as the T antigen non-expression clones PS1A and PS1F. We found that uh, RS production was significantly reduced during glucose deprivation in 
PSP8 sales as compared to PS1F sales. PSP8 sales did not show an increase in RS production during glucose deprivation. Um, there was a general increase in RS production in PS1A cells during glucose deprivation with the difference between these cells. This suggests that T antigen is able to prevent RS accumulation that would lead to subsequent amount of um, cytotoxicity during glucose deprivation. Therefore, we assume that RS production during glucose deprivation may play a role in T antigen downregulation. From the results we got from our techniques, uh, our molecular biology techniques, uh, we can conclude that JC virus has the ability to induce multiple types of brain tumors in experimental animal models. On a molecular level, JC virus can bind to RS1 and inactivate beta catenin as well as regulate key modulators of oncogenesis, including the IGF, IR, and P53 pathway. In this study, we have shown that T antigen is downregulated by glucose deprivation in multiple types of JC virus transform cell lines. Though T antigen has previously been shown to induce tumor cell growth through regulation of the multiple tumor special pathway, the studies implica implicate T antigen in the metabolic regulation of medulloblastoma cells. Alternatively, BSP cells may have evolved ways to develop more efficient pathway of energy utilization so that period of starvation do not as greatly affect their growth as T antigen non-expression cells. Um, in in this sense, BSP cells may be less glucose dependent under conditions of stress, uh, cell stress than their T antigen non-expression counterparts uh, which undergoes more rapid cell death when their critical energy source is depleted. Regulation of glucose metabolism continues to represent one of the most significant alterations in tumor cells as compared to normal cells. Substantial, uh, substantial decrease in antigen protein expression during glucose deprivation is a result of post-transcriptional or post-translational processing. This um, result indicate that T antigen expression may be regulated by pathways involved in the glucose metabolism under various stress conditions. T antigen is downregulated through specific, specific glycolytic um, pathways during glucose deprivation and regulates um, the glycolytic enzyme expression profile in uh, medulloblastoma cells. Thank you for listening to our presentation.